If you want to learn more about sailboat cruising, you should check out Slowboat Podcast. It's published by the same bloke who wrote Slowboat to the Bahamas. He's interviewed some of the bigger names in the YouTube world, like the guys on Delos, Annie Dyke from Have Wind Will Travel, the crew of Wicked Salty, to name a few. He's also got a YouTube channel about his trip down to Cuba. Imagine just how chuffed I was when I found out that he subscribed to SV Moneypenny. He sent us this little video to say hi. So please, go and take a look at his channel. If you love SV Moneypenny like we do, we believe you love slow boat sailing where we sail to Cuba, transit the Panama Canal, and cross the equator. Subscribe to Slow Boat Sailing right now. Previously on Money Penny, We took possession of our new project, and then we got horribly delayed by some weather, before eventually setting out on our little voyage and getting underway, and then getting horribly delayed by some more weather. Stay tuned to see if we were able to make any more progress on our trip back to Chicago. So, that weekend, the weather was uh, terrible up north. Um, couldn't move the boat. Of course, now work commitments are getting the better of me. And it is a glorious, beautiful day. And we've got a nice two or three day window. But now I have to work and um, it's looking like the, the best weather this week um, with perfect wind and um, perfect weather is going to be later on uh, this, this week, Wednesday, Thursday, um, which is great because I'm going to Boston for the weekend for a wedding. As it turned out, the forecasted weather changed and it was miserable all weekend. So I was quite happy to enjoy a nice weekend in Boston. We had a nice look around town saw the US Constitution and the museum, and I was also able to escort this lovely to a wedding. Good times. Well, here we go again. Uh, let's try and uh, give this another go. Uh, we're on our way back up to um, Sheboygan again. Got another one-way rental. Looks like we might have a bit of a weather window at some point this week. Um, I've just got the time away from work so I can go and take a couple of days and uh, and um, try and get moving again and see what's what. A bit of a bit of a work disaster cropped up this morning that I'm going to have to deal with at some point today. Um, but let's see if we can't get this boat back to, uh, back to Chicago. Well, we're underway again. I didn't film anything from today. It was all just rushing around trying to get stuff together and get stuff sorted. Um, filling up the diesel tanks, getting the rental car back, just just rushing and then getting the boat ready and paying my bill. Um, we're on our way to uh, Port Washington. Um, my hope is that we can get there today uh, in the daylight. Um, I'm not sure if we can or not. Um, Sheboygan is lovely. Sheboygan Marina is really great. If ever you're in the area and you need somewhere to stop, um, the, the staff are incredibly friendly. Um, they take incredibly good, good care of you. The facilities are great, and the, the little town is a real delight. So we uh, we thoroughly enjoyed our stay in Sheboygan, um, and now we want to make tracks. Um, there's, there's some weather coming in late tonight, so I want to get to Port Washington. I want to get tied up there before that comes in. Um, it's pretty lumpy, which slows the boat down. Um, we just do the best we can. Uh, we should be. We should be there hopefully around around sundown, but we'll see. Thank you, Sheboygan. You are a lovely, lovely little town. We'll see you next year. Well, I'm pretty excited. The sun's come out. It's a bit lumpy. We weren't making very good headway. Um, and the boat was a little bit uncomfortable. The wind had uh, clocked around a little bit to the uh, to the southeast, which was nice. So we we're able to get. I'm a bit out of puff. Sorry, we we're able to get some canvas up. So we're now motor sailing. We're making six and a half, seven knots, um, which is great because that's going to help us get there a little earlier. Um, so I might even get there before dark at this rate. Still 
toddling along. Uh, we've got the main up still, still, it's still pretty lumpy. It doesn't, it doesn't look like it on the camera, but it's, it's pretty lumpy. Um, there's not really enough breeze to be uh, to be sailing. I'm worried about the light. I want to get there today, so um, the sun is uh, just starting to get ready to do its little sniffing thing. We are motor is sailing at six-ish, kind of fluctuates depending on the bumps, um, and so we should be there in about an hour if we can keep this pace. Um, might have just the last little glimmers of daylight to find our to find our slip. Um, the coastline between Sheboygan and here is incredibly pretty. Um, cliffs and bluffs and forests and mansions. I mean, huge mansions. Um, it's really it's really stunning. The camera just doesn't. Justice. So I'm. Uh, oh, that's a big one. Um, I'm pretty excited to see what Port Washington has to offer. Um, knock on wood. Um, there's a bit of actual wood there. Knock on wood. Um, today's today's so far has, has gone very well. Um, it's big waves, but they're spaced out well, so it's been pretty comfortable. Um, and we're moving again. We're going in the right direction. So. Uh, of this trip continues we are not moving today um, we're in Port Washington and there is currently a small craft advisory until 4 o'clock something to do with the 20 to 25 knots gusting to 40 out of the south and the 8 to 10 foot waves doesn't sound like a very fun trip to me um, the, the, the everything has just been southern for you know, since we tried this, and we're trying to go south, which really makes life difficult. Um, I just went out to the seawall to have a look, and it, it's, it's pretty bumpy out there. So we're gonna we're gonna hang out and while away the day. This is all supposed to die down uh, tonight, and tomorrow is supposed to be a much calmer day out of the south, of course. Um, but we're gonna try and get moving again tomorrow. So hopefully we have. We have two more legs, but it's, it's you know, Port Washington seems to be a really, really cute little town. So we're gonna go and take a look and catch up on a little bit of work because the Wi-Fi is really good and then probably get drunk. You know, I don't want to complain too much. Um, I get a little storm and I can stay in a just lovely marina with really friendly people and a comfortable bunk and ride it out um th there's a huge hurricane ripping down you know through the caribbean and the east coast right now and so um i'm uh, i'm pretty lucky um to be able to to be able to ride out the weather it's uh i don't know if any are going to come crashing through now it's a little spicy behind me but it's um it's not a bad place to be and so uh you know it makes you it makes you think how lucky you are and I just uh, send send good wishes to all the people that are currently right in the way of uh, of that hurricane, and I hope that they're all uh, that they're all safe. I had a lovely day learning all about Port Washington's history, including this spot. It was the site of a riot against the draft for the Civil War. The peasants were revolting, or well, they were revolting peasants. Not sure which one. I found lots of lovely things to eat. Had a little nose around their beautiful church and learn more about their interesting maritime history, including their 1860 lighthouse. And here's an interesting little tidbit for you the next time you're playing Trivial Pursuit. The marina that I was staying in was the first federally funded marina or harbour in the Great Lakes.
nighttime cabin light under the beautiful glow of the oil lamp. One of the things I really like about this boat is the traditional features. The bronze barometer, brass, sorry, barometer and clock. And this very, very beautiful little oil lantern that we have, which is on a little gimbal. There's a little heat shield there. My headline gets a little bit warm above it, but I'll keep an eye on that. Looks great. And the teak and uh, the teak and holly sole as well, I think it's really nice. Alright, time to do some route planning. So tomorrow the uh the ideal plan is gonna be to head from Port Washington up here. Let me try and get down to Racine, which is down here. It's not quite due south. It's probably a little bit off due south. Um, there's a shoal in there. It's a bit of an interesting entrance into Racine. There's a lot of stuff going on around there, so we'll just want to make sure that we're aware of all of the lights and what have you. That's outside all of the buoys right there, which gives me. Uh, can't do this with, with one hand. Mm, put that there like that. Hold on one second. It gives me a heading of 166. So 166 degrees. Come out the come out of uh, Port Washington. Where are we here? Come out of Port Washington. Turn right. Heading 166, that will take me out to the outside of the reef and the shoals at Racine. And we should be able to get a bed there for the night. We're making progress. Next time on Money Penny. We depart Port Washington under the most fabulous sunrise, looking forward to a lovely day. And then of course the weather changes on us. And then with rather limited visibility, we have a close encounter of the car ferry kind. So please, join us next time on Money Penny. <coughs>